I can't look into the darkness with you anymore, Mulder. I cannot stand what it does to you or to me. I'm fine with it, Scully. I'm actually okay. I'm good. Yeah, that's what scares me. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game of the tip top is called The X Files Conspiracy Theory Everything is Connected by IDW Games. Game plays for three to eight players, plus, if you want to do more, it takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play the game, and it's ages 16 and up, roughly. In the game, we're going to be playing as Agent Mulder from The X Files, and as you all know, he is a conspiracy theory nut in the, all the different episodes. And he is going to be trying to convince the FBI tribunal that his conspiracy is true based on the evidence that is presented to him by the tribunal. In the game, every single FBI uh, tribunal member, which is going to be pretty much everybody in the game, is going to get three evidence cards. And then throughout the game, everybody is going to get a chance to be Agent Mulder. And when you're Agent Mulder, you're going to have to get to draw one of these conspiracy cards, read it aloud, and have everybody from the FBI tribunal give you all the evidence cards. And you're going to have to try and explain how everything is connected to this one conspiracy. They're going to vote for you, and you're going to get points and whatnot. And if you're able to convince enough people, you can score a ton of points and win the game. Let's go and show you what the game comes with and how it functions. So here are the contents of the X-Files Conspiracy. Everything is connected. You're going to get the box with all of the cards inside of it, along with the rule book here, which is very easy to explain as well, really well put together and simply added with all the different variations you can add. And you're going to get two decks of cards. One is this big stack of evidence cards and the other is the Conspiracy deck. In the game, like I said, you're going to be taking three of these evidence cards and giving them to every single player. We'll do a basic three-player game to make it really easy. Make sure all of the cards have been shuffled first before you go ahead and deal them out. The evidence cards are going to say something very, very simple, usually one to three words, something along the lines of telepathy to the Russians to author uh, Officer Arthur Dales, Ghosts, or the Pillaged Incan Tomb. Now, a lot of these cards are going to relate to basically conspiracy theories or the X-Files itself. I'm sure that Arthur Dales is some way related to the X-Files or Dwayne Barry FBI. But then you're going to also choose an Agent Mulder to start the game. We'll go ahead and select this character as Agent Mulder so he's not going to use his evidence cards. The conspiracy card is going to be placed up and revealed and then Agent Mulder is, go Mulder is going to read the conspiracy. A librarian repeatedly receives encoded emails giving the exact location of a missing murder victim one week before they are discovered. Then everybody in the FBI tribunal is going to take one of their cards and add it to the pile. Mulder is then going to have a certain period of time from 30 to 60 seconds, depending on how challenging you want to make the game. And he's going to put these two cards together with the conspiracy. So in this instance, he would have to try and explain why ghosts and telepathy, what they have to do with the fact that this these murder victims are being dis uh, being explained one week before they're discovered via um, emails, encoded emails. And then the tribunal is going to have the option after, the sec after 30 to 60 seconds are up to vote. They they have to go like this, one, two, three, and vote. Now, they're going to always try to do the same vote. They don't get any time to discuss it after he has said his piece, but they have to try and do, uh, They want when they vote, they want to try and be a majority no matter what. If they're in the majority, they're going to get a point. They're going to take one of the cards they were give, they gave out and use it as a point. But Mulder, on the other hand, is trying to convince them of his conspiracy theory. If he did a good job telling the story, they're going to give him the upvote, and he's going to get his conspiracy card as a point. So you're going to get your points as the majority in the tribunal, as well as if you uh, did well with your conspiracy as Mulder. However, if everybody votes down, you get no points as Mulder, and everybody that voted down in the majority is going to get a point in the tribunal. After that is going to happen, everybody is then going to discard all the cards that were not received as points, and then you're going to go ahead and be able to choose to discard a card from your hand and then draw up to your hand of three cards. And if you don't have to, if you don't want to, you can just simply keep that. And then you would take a new conspiracy theory. On the vernal equinox, a recently dismembered torso is found at Stonehenge. The limbs are, and head are found on the same day in different cities across the world. Explain it with these evidences. And that is the basic idea of the game. The X-Files conspiracy theory. Can you connect everything? So when I first saw the X-Files conspiracy theory, I immediately thought, oh no, not another judge game. Because there's so many of them, and it's just like repetition by now, right? I don't want to play another Apples to Apples clone or Cards Against Humanity clone. Luckily, that this is not like that. It's also not really like the cult, um, the cult game or those other ones where you're having to tell 
um, to try and convince people of certain things. And this is just one specific person convincing a ton of different people how a piece of conspiracy is connected with three pieces or four or five pieces of evidence. The more players in this game, the more insane it gets, and the more difficult it's going to be for Mulder to try and put all of the pieces of evidence together. But more is fun because it gets this person wild up. As Mulder in this game, it is a ton of fun because you're at a race against the clock to explain it to a bunch of angry tribunal people in the FBI uh, that, that don't want to listen to you anyway. They don't believe what you have to say. And just like the X-Files, it functions very well because Mulder's usually not doing a good job explaining his theories. And Scully herself is not actually part of the game because she's not the one, she's usually the more level-headed one. Well, he's the more I want to believe person in the game. But there's a ton of great conspiracies in this game. Now, as far as replay playability, you've got until this conspiracy deck runs out if you play with the same number of people. Otherwise, it can probably get a little stale, I imagine. Uh, but they have some fun ones. 12 tigers have gone missing from the, from 12 different zoos within a week. Harlem is terrorized by what, local, uh, by what locals claim to be a four-armed cat burglar. Encrypted messages from Japan, Japan during World War II are deciphered using the human genome as the cipher. So on and so forth pitted with a ton of evidence. Some of it is from the X-Files itself, so if you're a big X-Files buff, you're gonna enjoy it as well. But if you're not, and then you see a card that you don't understand, uh, there's certain like uh, FBI agents and whatnot, Rookie Crickinson, you can actually just use this name as part of somebody in your story and kind of give this give this tale of whatever you want. It's very imaginative and it works really well actually. When I was playing this with my family, playing this with my cousins and my aunt, everybody got into the game, everybody understood it instantly, and everybody had a really good time. My aunt was a big X-Files buff and she had a good time with this as well. So for me, it's definitely a game I play again. It's a game that I really enjoy because I like the X-Files as well. I don't know all the characters in here, but I had a good time playing it. It was a refreshing thing too because I was very happy it wasn't a judging game as far as everybody judging based on these random things with words. It was actually a cohesive story and I get to feel like, was this connected or not? And then I'm like, well, wait, what does the majority think? And I have to go ahead and choose based on that. You're going to know if you're going to be interested in this game though after I've explained it. So you can go ahead and check it in the description below if you're interested. For me personally, I really enjoyed the game and I'm definitely going to be playing it again, especially with people who really love the X-Files. Everything's connected. I want to believe. Is there anything you'd like to say on your behalf, Mr. Mulder, before we decide your sentence? Yes.